In this video, we're going to determine the end behavior of each of these polynomial functions. So let's go ahead and work it out. So solution. So the first thing you want to do is find the degree. So the degree is the largest exponent. So here the degree is 4. And what you really care about is whether it's even or odd. So the degree is even. And the leading coefficient is 3. So we have a positive leading coefficient. And so the way I do this is I think of, okay, what's the simplest function I know that has an even degree and a positive leading coefficient? Well, y equals x squared. And I know that that looks something like this. So this rises left and rises right. Therefore, our polynomial also rises left and rises right. So to recap, you find the degree, that's the largest exponent, and you determine if it's even or odd. You find the leading coefficient, and you want to know if it's positive or negative. Then you write down the simplest function you can think of, and find the end behavior of that. Well, this one rises left and rises right. Therefore, our original polynomial must do the same. Let's go ahead and do this one. So in this case, the degree again is 4, and so we have an even degree. And the leading coefficient here is negative 1. So we have a negative leading coefficient. So then you ask yourself, okay, what is the simplest function you can think of that has even degree and a negative leading coefficient? Well, that's negative x squared. So that looks something like this. So this guy falls left and falls right. So this one falls left and falls right. Therefore, our original polynomial also falls left and falls right. Let's go ahead and do the next one. So here the degree is 3. So the degree is 3. And 3 is an odd number, so we have a function with odd degree. And we have a leading coefficient of 4. So we have a positive leading coefficient. So then you ask yourself, what is the simplest function you know that has odd degree and positive leading coefficient? Well, there's two that are really easy. You can use y equals x. That looks like this. Or you can use y equals x cubed. That looks something like this. And both of these guys fall left and rise right. So the answer in this case is falls left and rises right. And the last one I think is probably the hardest one. So let's go ahead and work it out. So in this case, the degree is 7. So the degree is equal to 7, and so we have odd degree. And if you look at the leading coefficient, it's negative 1. So we have a negative leading coefficient. So you ask yourself, what is the simplest function that you know of that has odd degree or negative leading co and negative leading coefficient? Well, negative x. That looks like this. Or you can think of negative x cubed, which looks something like this. So in both cases, these rise left and fall right. So this rises left and falls right. And that's how you determine the end behavior. I'm not sure how other people do this, but if you open a book, they usually have a table, and you're supposed to, I guess, memorize all these things, um, which is kind of hard because then you'll probably forget it later on. So, again, the easiest way I have found is you first find the degree, determine if it's even or odd, and then figure out the leading coefficient and if it's positive or negative, and then think of the simplest function that you know and sketch that. And then the end behavior of your really simple function should be similar to the end behavior of your original function. And I also think it's better to do it this way because then you have all of these really basic functions like x squared and negative x squared and x cubed and negative x cubed. You end up memorizing all of these in the process rather than memorizing some obscure fact. It's better when you have examples memorized and you can use your examples to work out harder examples like the problems we just did. So I hope, um, I hope this video uh, helps.